Welcome back to the Sardine News. Ah, good morning. Welcome to the Sardine News. Although today is more like Sardine School. We're going to be using Windy.com's ex- extraordinarily vast set of tools that can help us analyze these sardines and the conditions that they're living in in detail. Here we go. Let's start with the weather. Well, we've got so much red and orange and close to get the stripes on the chart coming up this week. There are going to be some big rolling south swells. And we're going to have a beautiful ocean, not too many easterlies. That big high pressure off Durban, you can see it there, that normally fends off these cold fronts, is not going to stand a chance against all the red and orange coming up the coast this week. But offshores are going to blow. The surf might get big, but the ocean is going to be pretty. It's probably going to get clean, clean, clean. Great conditions for sardines and surfing. Catch those swells up the coast. Come and join us. Currents, these things tell a bit of a story, eh? Ho, ho. Looks like, to me, that the sardines are kind of trapped. Some of them are in the front section of cold water. You can see over there how this Agulhas current is trying to avoid potholes in the tail or something. But it's going left and right and out. It normally drives straight. It's normally a good driver. But, geez, nowadays it's gone crazy. Check those vortexes and the currents coming up on the inside. The problem is that it hits the coast. The Agulhas hits the coast squarely behind Coffee Bay and down to Kevin in Kocha is, is, war- is warm. And strong Agulhas current. So the sardine is not going to like that. They're going to have to uh, run the gauntlet and get through that, that warm water into the cold water again where they're happy. Further down south, you can see that the sardines are off East London in that cold water again, in that counter current. And then further down at Port Alfred, you can see another warm water barrier. There must be more sardines behind there. But okay, we've got enough sardines. There's enough. We've just got to hope they get through these warm water barriers and then get up into Natal. But if you can see at the top current, counter current, the top boy, the thing there, it does extend all the way to Port Shepson and almost to Durban. So who knows what could happen. Maybe those oaks are in the inside and they're heading north because there's warm water behind them and there's now big swells coming, which they can catch. And it just could be. I'm not going to be a sardine forecaster just yet but it really does look like according to this scientific data from windy.com that we have a chance that they could come early and then we'll have a break while the warm water keeps them back and once again they'll accelerate once the cold water starts coming up the coast a whole lot quicker okay sardine school is over don't forget to like and subscribe and if you join this channel you're really helping us keep this show going it's quite a big job by the way endless hours here but it's great fun and you can join the channel become a member 59 bucks a month and you'll really be helping the sardine news at a time where it needs help okay thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you later on during the day when hopefully some more sardine news will trickle in from elton and kevin and anybody else who's got the eyes peeled and on the horizon and a big thank you to windy.com for allowing us to use their visualizations like this I bet you we're all learning a whole lot more than if we never had this kind of stuff going on. Yeah, so yeah, thank you very much, Wendy. We're going to play out with a few of the nicest videos from the last few days, courtesy of Elton of GoDive. And I'm pretty sure those sardines are going to sneak up on the inside and catch us by surprise. Whoa guys, it's bait fish all over the place. 